new camera day and new sponsor day. Okay, riders, welcome back to Sam's Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes. And today, we are testing out the new Insta360 GO 2. It's a, tight, well, it's a tiny little camera. That's 26 grams. It is crazy. I'm super excited to announce the new sponsor of the channel, Insta360 and all the POV footage you're gonna see on the channel for the next three months will be on the Insta360 GO 2. And also, riders, there's a massive Black Friday sale on. Link is in the show notes. This camera is crazy small, and you might not think it will get the job done, but riders, I'm gonna tell you, I've been testing this for the last three weeks. It is the business, and I can't wait to use it because I wanna get crazy with it, actually Insta sent me two. And what I wanna do is I wanna get the best POV. I wanna put the cameras in different places on the bikes, mounted on my helmet, underneath the seat, on the handlebars, get as many crazy angles as I can get. And let's unbox all the goodies and see what I've got. So first of all, we are gonna open it on the back here. Be careful not to cut my hand open. Attention to detail is super high. It feels like you're opening like a, an Apple iPhone or something like that. Yeah, really nice packaging. Look at that, riders. Think big. That is really cool. 26 grams for this little baby action camera. It's crazy and the quality is very remarkable. First of all, we have this cool pendant. And I have seen this on the other YouTubers reviews. I've been a bit jealous actually, to be honest. So this is really cool. So look at this. If you want to go just get some POV footage, not a hundred percent how it would work on a mountain bike going down a hill, but it probably is going to work. But if you want to get some POV footage, super discreet, check this out. So I can just walk around in my house video of me making coffee. Doesn't sound that exciting, but maybe maybe I will start doing that type of stuff. But look at that, super cool. I'm excited to try that. Let's see what else is in the box. We have some type of mount, another mount, a USB cable, and the charging box. Let's take out the charging box first and check that out. It might remind you of like an Apple AirPod case because it looks really similar. So what you wanna do is you open it up and the camera has a magnet on the back and it just goes in there like so. So you can actually record for about half an hour with the action camera out of the charging case and then it will take about 10 minutes to recharge. And it's quite simple to use. And as you can see, you can go through the menu quite easy. So you start off with pro video, then you go to time shift, then you go to time lapse, then you go to HTR video, then you go to slow-mo, then you go to settings, which you can go deep into and change all the settings actually in the charging case. Then you go back to video. I'd probably use the pro video over the normal video because you don't get flow state stabilization in the normal video. The GoTo shoots in 1440p up to 50 frames a second. And in my opinion, that's ample. I actually always shoot my action cameras in 1080 because I don't have the hard drive space to keep four or 5K. And pretty much everyone that's watching it are watching it on their phones anyway. And for me, the best thing about this camera and the most original thing about this camera is it shoots in a square format. So what does that actually mean? If you're an influencer like me, I know I hate that word, but I kind of am these days. So let's say you go out and you shoot your footage. With a GoPro or another action camera, it shoots in a vertical frame. So you can't get an Insta story out of it and vice versa. If you're shooting for Instagram, you need to have a clip for Instagram and a clip for YouTube. But with this camera, you can decide out of the square format if you want the vertical or the horizontal, which really makes it a game changer for content creators, I think. 
and I'm super excited to try the flow state stabilization on this little camera. We go pretty fast downhill on our e-bikes and I wanna see how the stabilization works. And there's a lot of you out there wouldn't know that I'm ex-professional photographer. Actually, I'm still a professional photographer and I'm super honored to be working with Insta360. Anyway, enough of the jibber jabber. Let's go and test this bad boy and see how it works. Okay, we're at my local, it's golden hour, and I have some crazy mount here that's gonna give some very interesting footage and a POV chest mount. So let's see what the new Insta360 Go 2 can actually do. All right, golden hour at my local with the Insta360 Go 2. I've got two of them on, front and back, should give us some pretty crazy footage. As I said, right, as I've been playing around with these for the last couple of weeks, and it's amazing how little they are and where you can put them almost anywhere. I'm running at the moment with the chest harness and some crazy camera mount on my helmet, giving some pretty interesting backward POV footage. It's pretty amazing. You barely feel it on your head. It's not the safest smashing down downhills, but you can definitely do it. And I've done it with the GoPro before, and this is a lot safer. This is 26 grams. I'm really excited about mounting it on different parts of my bike and getting different views. All right, riders, we are chasing the light. Last part of the ride. We hate saying that, but this is just a very quick, Look at the new camera. As I said, all the POV footage is gonna be shot on these cameras from now on. And riders, let me know what you think. And riders, you know it, stay safe out there and I'm gonna see you next week. Yeah.